One really neat tool that you can use in Adobe Illustrator is the Symbols tool. And um, it is on in the tool panel under the spray can icon. If you click and hold that little spray can icon, it's this, you see that it's the Symbol Sprayer tool. And there's several other Symbol tools underneath that Symbol Sprayer tool. But you have to start by using the Symbol Sprayer tool. So I'm just going to click on that. The shortcut key is the Shift and S key on my keyboard and the second part you have to have open if you try to click and spray a symbol it's gonna say please select a symbol from the symbols panel first so this is one of those warnings that you have to read and try to decipher and understand what Adobe is telling you to do so we need to select a symbol from the symbols panel first so we need to open the symbols panel so go to windows and go down to symbols and I already have that panel open you can see there is a shortcut key if you want to use that symbols panel shortcut and that's my symbols panel or symbols um, window right there and so I have a few symbols in here that I can click on and spray and I'm um, going to undo that command Z to undo and there's another one command Z I'll undo that one and there's another one now if they these aren't the ones you're looking for there's um, lots of other preset symbols if, of course, just like many other tools, just click on this little flyout menu in the symbols panel. Um, that's the little flyout menu right here. And go down to Open Symbol Library, and you have a number of choices to choose from. You can also make your own symbol once you get good with Illustrator. So, for example, I'll click on Heirloom, and there's some diamond heirloom type of symbols in there. Um, that might not be what you're looking for. Maybe that one. Who knows? Um, now, the neat thing about symbols is if it's not quite what you're looking for, maybe those are too small, not the right size exactly, or whatever, um, you can edit your symbols with these other symbol tools that I skipped over to begin with. Um, first of all, the symbol sprayer tool, I can adjust the way it sprays. It's a little bit hard to control sometimes, or you might want it to do different things. Um, just double click on the symbol sprayer tool, and this me menu comes up where you can change the diameter of the symbol sprayer, the intensity of the symbol sprayer, and the density, um, how thick or how many symbols is going to spray on top of each other. Um, you can also have some other. Um, things you can change for the other tools as well. That's all within the same dialog box. So now it's going to change a little bit differently. It's, I bumped up the intensity and density just a little bit. And you can see the density is making it pile those diamonds on top of each other. If I go down to the shifter tool, that allows me, while the object is selected, um, to shift it over, just like it says, left, right, whatever. Um, the scruncher tool, of course, scrunches them together, um, going from the outside in. The sizer tool will change the size of the symbols, and it's going to hit whichever one's in the center. Um, it's going to affect the most. Again, to adjust the, the um, amount of size, you can change that within this panel right here. Um, under size, proportional resizing and resizing affects density. Okay, and so there, that's another tool you can use. There's a spinner tool where you can turn all of these diamonds or symbols. The stainer tool allows you to stain it with a color. So you can choose a color first of all and click on whichever one you want to stain. So you see it's a little bit redder now. I'll click that red. Screener tool is a really neat tool. It gives some transparency to the symbols. Again, it's going to hit the center one the most. If I just hit hit it with the outer edge of my brush, it's going to just hit that outer edge of the symbols panel. And the styler, in order to use the styler, it gives me a warning to open the graphic styles panel. So once again, go window, graphic styles, choose a graphic style that you want, and there's none load or they're loading, I'm sorry, my box, and see I just apply it to a few of them. This does take a little while for the computer to do sometimes because graphic styles um, incorporate a lot of filters and other things, um, but those will apply your graphic styles as well. So lots you can do with symbols. You can also make your own symbols like I mentioned. 
and I can also edit the symbols that are in the existing symbol library. So what I mean by that is let me go to my symbol sprayer tool once again and um, spray one of these symbols in here. These are kind of small so I'll just zoom in and you see that it is created just like any other object within Illustrator. I can drag it out of the library here and you see that I just have one now. I can click on that one symbol and I can um, I should be able to I can kind of see the lines there I can see the lines there and the strokes I can um, should be able to change the colors of it as well by ungrouping it by going to object ungroup and I can change the individual colors on most symbols if you want to create your own symbols though all you have to do is create an object that you want to repeat over and over for example let me add some colors to my squares and I'll just do a real simple one here just um, some, whatever pattern or whatever you want to be your symbol I'll just select that and drag that into my symbols library or symbols panel rather and I can name it and there's my symbol this has also converted into a group symbol and now I can go to my symbol sprayer choose my symbol and spray that symbol over and over so lots you can do with symbols um, a little bit more advanced technique but um, it's really good if you create a work of art that you want to repeat repeatedly spray in a background or as a pattern over and over